joining us. My name is Jana, I'm here with New Life Scientific, and we are looking at the Silas 1090 particle size analyzer. This particle size analyzer comes with software as well as an extra microscope with a flow cell and software. We're gonna go ahead and look at the Size Expert software today, which does liquid and dry samples. Um, we're first going to go ahead and check out the Shape Expert. The Shape Expert, you can actually look at your samples and they can be analyzed for size as well as quantity. And they are overlaid with shapes. Your photos can be overlaid as well as graph the data with histograms. Secondly, we're going to go ahead and check out the actual expert grab software. And this is a live image of the flow going through our microscope. Um, we do have a spot here on the flow cell and that corresponds with whatever you're running through your sample and the liquid option. We'll go ahead and close out of there today. Secondly, we're gonna go ahead and check out the liquid and dry modes. Currently, we are in the liquid mode. This is a mimic interface, and this actually shows your setup in your particle size analyzer. This is our laser. This actually comes with two lasers on the inside. This is our flow cell here. This is our sample container where we would put our liquid in. There is a stir, as well as an ultrasonic base at the bottom of the bowl. These are electro valves which can be turned on and off that drain. Additionally, you have two peristaltic pumps in here and they can be measured to do a certain rate of speed. Currently, we need to go ahead and add some liquid to our sample which is conveniently located up here at the top and for an easy pour function. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're ready to take a sample measurement. We would go ahead and add liquid at this point and run a background. Um, also, I'd like to point out that you can use pre-programmed uh, measurements in here that kind of set up based on your sample, or you can use user-defined programs based on whatever solvent as well as dispersion you are using. Um, there's an emergency stop in case there are any issues, as well as a cleanup function. So when you're done with your experiment, there are predefined standard operating procedures which will run through the amount of liquid you need to clean your flow cell as well as the inner workings of the tubing. And as you can see, that's how it functions. we use for the dry dispersion method. This is actually, there is a pour spout that can use your dry insert. And here there is a vibratory distribution um, container. And to run the dry method, you would actually have to have a vacuum for regulatory pressure and high pressure and a cleaning cell. This product comes with extras, the software, as well as the filters and the additional products you see on the table. The flow cell, as well as the camera, can be viewed using the software. We're going to go ahead and look at our inputs and outputs. You have a vacuum function, you have a airline, you also have a water line in and out, as well as an overflow pump. This product was manufactured in 2013 and it's relatively young at three years old. Thank you for joining New Life Science today and checking out